Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a Scottish favorite and it's called Pizza Crunch or Pizza Crunchy. And it consists of a deep fried pizza. Now this is something you can find at the local chippy or the local fish and chips shop and you can get a pizza, just a frozen variety pizza, nothing fancy. You can get a small personal sized one that's been cut in half and deep fried just as a deep fried pizza or you can have a pizza crunchy in which the half pizza has been dipped in the fish and chips batter and then deep fried so it's crunchy hence you get a pizza crunchy <laughs> what i find very interesting about this is that once the pizza comes out of the fryer it is then topped often with malt vinegar just like you would fish and chips and salt additional sprinkle of salt. If you want this to become a pizza supper, then you get an order of chips, which we call French fries here in the US, on the side, and you've got yourself a pizza crunch supper. Sounds amazing, right? So you can find fish and chip shops, or chippies as they're known, all over Great Britain. It's believed that around 1860 is when the first shop opened. So traditionally, fish and chips is often eaten on Fridays where many Catholics abstain from eating any meat. So you eat fish. Fish and chips is handy, it's delicious, you don't even need any utensils, you just stop at the chippy stand and get yourself fish and chips. Or in this case, a pizza crunch. <laughs> which is a deep fried pizza. So crazy, why haven't I seen this at state fairs all over the US? This would be perfect. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to make our pizza crunch is of course some batter. Now the batter recipe that I'm gonna be using comes from the great Alton Brown. I will put a link down below to the original link if you are interested. So Alton's original recipe includes Old Bay seasoning, just a little dash of it. I chose to omit it because it is a classic Baltimore, Maryland, seasoning used in crab oils and such. But I thought in terms of doing a recipe from across the pond that perhaps they wouldn't have Old Bay. So I omitted that and just stuck with a little bit of cayenne pepper. British friends, do tell me if I did the right thing. Okay, so to make the batter, we're gonna take two cups of all-purpose flour with one tablespoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of kosher salt and a little shake of cayenne pepper. And then we're gonna take one bottle of cold beer. Whisk that in until everything is nice and smooth and then place this in the refrigerator and allow the batter to rest at least 15 minutes and up to an hour. So here's my chilled batter. After watching some chippy batter videos, this looks a bit thick. Really nice beer scent to it. And I'm gonna add just a bit of water. I'm adding about a quarter cup of water, yes. Now we're gonna grab our pizzas, and I grabbed these. These are Celeste frozen pizzas. These are what my brother and I ate after school. This one in particular, the deluxe combination one. Loved these <laughs> as a kid. So I got one of those for old time's sakes. And I've let this sit in the refrigerator to thaw. These look a lot smaller than I remember. I'm gonna cut this in half. And also to make this a full meal, I'm gonna fry up some chips and I'm also gonna fry up a candy bar. So, alrighty, let's do the frying. Simply take my frozen pizza, dump it in, draining off the excess batter, and now drop it in. Oh my gosh, and we have a deep fried pizza. There it is. Turn that over. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. Our pizza is ready. It's been in there for you know, maybe a total of five minutes. I turned it a few times while I was frying. And look how it's puffed up. It's puffed up beautifully. So I'll take that and I'm gonna let it drain on a rack. Whoa, here we go. Make some french fries. So I didn't realize that Mars bars here in the US were different than Mars bars all over the world <laughs> until I did my international taste test in my Emmy Eats series. I'll put the playlist if you missed those videos down below. 
and American Mars bars contained almonds. And I went to the grocery store and the convenience store looking for one so I could deep fry one today, but I couldn't find them. And I just discovered that they discontinued them and replaced them with Snickers almond. So what? But Mars bars all over the world actually are much more closer to a Milky Way. They contain nougat, a layer of caramel, enrobed in chocolate. No nuts whatsoever. So I'm going to be deep frying a Milky Way bar. And apparently the Mars bar was supposed to be a dupe of the Milky Way, or at least a competitor. So we're going to fry up one of those too. Right, my chips should be ready. Bring those on a rack. And I'm going to put in just a regular slice of pizza. Fry that as well. Because we're into frying today. I'm just going to fry everything up. Yep. So immediately coming out of the fryer, we're going to season everything with salt. Right, let's take our deep fried pizza out of here. Oh, all the cheese came off. That's bad. Let's go ahead and deep fry our Milky Way bar. Dip it into the batter. Now this I've definitely seen. I've seen this at fairs for sure. So let's go ahead and plunge that in. This just stuck right to the bottom of my fryer. Not good. So that was kind of a disaster. Alrighty, let's look at this fried panoply. First, we're gonna take our pizza and cut it into wedges. <laughs> There's the pizza inside. Place that on our plate. We're gonna get some malt vinegar and douse everything with it, including the pizza. Yep. And the chips. And of course, some salt. And there you have it, a pizza crunch. Okay, here we go. Eat the lucky moss. <laughs> it's delicious. The malt vinegar is a really nice touch. The acidity of the vinegar cuts all that kind of greasiness. It makes the flavors pop more because of it's so acidic. And it doesn't feel as heavy. So inside of this deep fried package is that very familiar, very comforting flavor of frozen pizza. You've got lots of carbs here. You've got a little bit of cheese. You've got some pizza sauce. It's hot. You can hold it in your hand. I think the adjective stodgy would be an appropriate one in this situation. This is very starchy and carb heavy and kind of dense, but since it's all deep fried and it's hot, it's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Freshly fried french fries. Mmm. Delicious. Again, malt vinegar. Such a great combination. If you're a fan of salt and vinegar chips, you know what I'm talking about. And when I say chips in that sense, I mean what the British would call crisp potato chips. Salt and vinegar potato chips. And these french fries are delicious for the same reason. Tangy, salty, crisp, fried. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fish and chips batter. If you wanted something thinner, a little bit more similar to tempura, then I would suggest adding even a little bit more water so you have a thinner coating. But still quite nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Now let's just try the deep fried pizza. So I turned my pizza over while I was in the fryer and all the cheese proceeded to slide off. So, so if you ever attempt to deep fry a frozen cheese pizza, maybe don't turn it over like I did so the cheese doesn't fall off, but let's give this a taste. Here we go. Delicious again. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think I actually prefer the deep fried pizza to the crunchy pizza because I can taste more of the pizza. This gets a little bit buried, although 
this does become a vehicle for the malt vinegar, which is delicious and very delicious on pizza. Never had that combination before, but this remains crunchy and pizza-like and not as dense as the crunchy version. Yum. And last, but certainly not least, let's try our deep fried candy bar. Look at this sad heap of a mess. So I took this out a little bit early because the batter started to slide off the candy bar and I was concerned that the candy bar might actually burn. Let's give this a taste, here we go. Oh my goodness. I don't even like Milky Way candy bars, but like this, I love it. Everything is warmed up and has this beautiful soft texture. The caramel is still chewy, but it blends in with the nougat and the chocolate on the outside melts as well. And you get some of that crisp batter and then you've got oil that kind of ties everything together and makes it very reminiscent of a donut, but much sweeter and denser and just more intense. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Is it the proper way to finish off this meal? That could be debatable. Mm-hmm. Mm <laughs> we have it, the Scottish Pizza Crunch, the battered and deep fried frozen pizza alongside a pile of freshly fried potatoes and, you know, a deep fried candy bar. Let me know down in the comments below if you've had this before, if you want to have it, if you could, or if there's anything unusual that you'd like to see me taste or try, deep fry, I want to know about it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learn something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. <laughs>